Fifth interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. My own mentor. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your posts and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promised myself I would kill you for what you did to my whole world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist, or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. 
However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me? This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. I know! I know. The pain! The pain! Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! Ah, no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes, I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Vendar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. 
Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Molirani Bubo, Tonkin Ba, Roku Netsak, Tong Hitwama Aki Inkotune, or Tong Hitwama Ji Aki Inkotun, Tong Panokun, Nonek, Chiwi Aita Ka Tong Chicha, Ki Mulira Kun King, King Banokun Nik Dorcha, Jiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachu, Labora Na Winky Smack Toma, Kuyami Jusku Chitanai Uchua Penki Topa na Oto Bokasa Yubapato Kanchi Yatuka Ulan Chaskronki to Patslimo Chi Ita Kanki Chana Kilikon Kingba Muli Radwanaji Kingba no Kun Nikset Abog Nikaba Dubaka Patisa Patisa Kon Muli Slimo Poi Wanga Kun Biskin Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. Ichuta yun patisa kingba nik chalora kun. Smilia tinkuin koka patoga yakuli koka la jiji. Chi wi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra tangi wama jikona. Tong kit pa non kunek abog. Smilia! 
Tingguin ko ka, patoga yak fuli kong kala, Gigi! Ki muli ra kong gin, tong hi duwama ak itzikotun eh. Tong hi duwama jip ak itzikotun. Kachopa bogra shong ko tachi cha, un chawa wis kun yun kun. Bogra shok chong kanti chopa chawa wis yun kun. Ti ompi du puta krita. Achua penti, yun patisa. Ki chuba jikot ka naga. Kingu mwa muli radwana. Kingba nik cha lora. Chiwa e aita kang ki jiyo kaku. Uba baska dwana chicho pa muska. Ka kin cha nawa baga on. Kin tava yun patisa. ちゃんなわばかおちたわよんちゃんまとんひとまあきんことねことんひままじあきんことんとんぱどくんのねちびあいたかちょんちちゃきむりらじすかどそきこっぱぼのなかちゅらぼらなウィンキスマットまくや
Johanny, in freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you.
This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them.
What do you need? You got.
Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, Saul. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do.
Not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> you didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. <laughs> Remember them whenever. Whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. He's gone. He said it, it can't be true, can it? No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Look, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise.
It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. 
can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Yet remember, Revan? The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. How you survived the final battle is a mystery to me. Perhaps you should ask Bastila. After all, she was part of the Jedi strike team that captured you. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. 
Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. I wanted to tell you, but the Council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The Council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. When I used my Force powers to keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the Council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the Council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. It was a risk the Council chose to take. How can you say that? Malak nearly killed you, but the Jedi Council gave you another chance to live. They gave you a chance to redeem yourself by defeating the Sith. A rash and futile hope. The dark side is too strong. My power is too great. Even my old master is no longer a match for me. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition, Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be.
door sealed we can't get past come on we have to get to the ebon hawk Bastila doesn't stand a chance against malak but we can't help her not here we have to get off the ship and find the star forge that's the key to beating the dark lord Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away we can't let her sacrifice be in vain come on Bastila. What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Nah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious.
Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Sol Kareth told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big! Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey! You've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am... Experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges.
Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Starforge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late.